July has just started, and Chelsea nearly have 10 deals done this transfer window. They have signed Tucson Autobio. They have signed William Esteval for 2025. They have signed Amari Kellyman. They have signed Mark Guahey. They have signed now Kieran Drewsbury Hall from Leicester. On top of that, they have sold Lewis Hall. They have sold Amari Hutchinson. They have sold Ian Matson and Academy players. And it is just starting this transfer window. I'm going to be reacting to all of these and giving you the ugly truth about a lot of these deals that no one else is talking about. And I'm going to give you the facts to back it up. Now, before I get into this, like this video and subscribe if you're not already. I just started doing this. I love Chelsea. If you love Chelsea and you hit those buttons, I love that. <laughs> All right, let's just get into our first player, which is our most recent signing, Dewsbury Hall. I'll explain how I feel about this one with an analogy. It's hot where I live. It's actually right now 110 degrees outside. If I were to go outside and someone offered me a hot, steaming, beautiful cup of coffee, I would say, no thank you. It's a great cup of coffee, but it is already way too hot, and it is not the right time. It is too hot in the sense that we have way too many midfielders, a.k.a. this means probably the end for Connor Gallagher, which there's no way he is a good replacement for him. Sorry, I'm not trying to judge him, but that's the truth. And number two, it's not the right time. We just have too many midfielders, right? That's just it. Okay, now I will preface this. I want to make sure this is clear. He is now a Chelsea player. I now support him. I now wish the absolute best for him and hope he does well. But this is the fact right? I'll, I'll, I'll give you a quick example so I don't take too long on it. Yes, he was great in the championship. Yes, he had 12 goals, 14 assists, one of the best players. He's almost 26. He knows Maresca, blah, 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 right? We only need three midfielders. Casado's a lock. Enzo's a lock, right? From there, you got one more position that might be Cole Palmer if he want if he thinks Cole Palmer is a midfielder. No one's going to take that. It might be Nkunku if he wants him to play there. If Gallagher's still there, he's got to compete. He's got to compete with Carney, Lavia, who wanted serious game time, Leslie Gochukwu, Cassidy, who still has big things, and Andre Santos as eights. What the heck? We already have too many players. No one thought we were going to sign a center mid, but we just randomly wanted to become like Brighton and hijack their deal. <sighs> He's a good player. We don't need a midfielder. It was very, very foolish to spend $30 million on that and give up on a Cassidy who has crazy potential and not even give him a chance. That's what makes me really mad. And just to give you a little quick rant, sorry, I got to react about this, but it, it, it falls in line with the Amari Hutchinson. I don't want to get too ahead of myself. I'll talk about him in a second, but Chelsea have this plan and it seems like no matter what players do, they already made up their mind about him. And I hate that. I hate that. They said they were going to sell Connor Gallagher. He was probably our second best player last season. He definitely was. They still want to sell him. They don't care. They're not changing their mind. Freaking Amari Hutchinson. Went out on loan, won best player of the entire team, one of the best players in the championship, and they don't even want to give him a preseason to see if he would work. They already buy a William Esteval and ship him out. What, what else was he supposed to do to earn a spot at Chelsea? Like, they already have intentions behind that, not even giving players a chance, aka not even giving our own Chelsea Academy players a chance, which is infuriating. Oh, it makes me so mad, but we got to just go into everything else real quick because I got to blaze through these. All right. Okay. Tucson Arabile. Let's, let's, let's lighten the mood up a little bit. 10 out of 10 signing. He's older. He knows how to pass. He's a center back. We needed one to replace Tiago Silva, but we also have starter center backs like Levi Colwell. So we didn't need a lot. Great. I'm excited to see him. He brings leadership qualities. Great signing. See, there we go. I was positive during this video. Remember that. Next up, Amari Kellyman. Now, I wrote a whole sheet about things that I hate about this deal. Not him. Remember, same thing about Dewsbury Hall. I'm fully supporting him now, but everyone knows that this was either whatever, you know, <laughs> I'll pat on you on the back so you can pat me on the back. I don't know what shady thing was going on with Aston Villa, but there is no way on this earth or any other earth in the Milky Way galaxy that he was worth that money. 19 million was an absolute joke. 
If we bought him in for three, five even, I would be fine with it. But $19 million is a joke. That's a ton of waste of money. The way I see it is we bought Ian, we sold Ian Matson for 20 something million. Oh. Let me just go over this real quick. First team starter, no way. I could list you the 20 players that would be in a first team starter if no one was injured. He's nowhere close to there. He's nowhere close to the neck, the top 25 players at Chelsea. He's not a first team player. Don't let anyone convince you of that. Next thing, players we brought in young players that had better experience, more potential than him for less money. We brought in Andre Santos for 12.5 million. Definitely had more potential. Barcelona him. We bought in Cassidy. Well, <clears throat> Cassidy also is 15 million after winning player of the tournament at the U20 Euros, being the top goal scorer. Carney was less than him. David Washington was less than him. Gabriel was less than him. It's I'm not even going to get too much into it. Worst deal of the entire summer. Waste of money. Hopefully he can prove me wrong. I wish him the best, but that is just a ridiculous amount of money. There's no way an academy player was worth that. Last fun fact I'll give you about this is, like I said, we bought an Aston Villa academy player for $19 million. The last time he played Chelsea in the academy was in April, and he lost 4-0 in a game which David Washington scored in. <coughs> And holding played really great, which we sold. So that should tell you all you need to know. All right, I got to blaze through these because I'm losing my voice. All right, uh, Mark Guihi, I'm actually not mad about this one. This one's great. Six million for a player from La Masia. He's six foot two, big body type for a striker. Great. But he's what? Our third or fourth best striker right now. I think he could become really good. I'm really excited about him, but. We just didn't need, we had already project strikers. So sell them if you don't think they're good enough and then buy someone. Don't have eight project strikers. Um, The next one right here, is that all the ones we signed? Oh, William Esteval. We'll talk about him more when he comes, but he's going to be one of the best players in the world. Mark my words. He will win a Ballon d'Or before, before 2030. That's a bold take. Anyways, let's go over real quickly the outs because Lewis Hall is gone. You already knew it. I already came to terms with it. I don't really want to talk about it. Amari Hutchinson already said that it sucks that he was insane and didn't get given a chance. We bought too many white right oh, right wingers. And here's the little caveat that's funny. We put a 25% sell-on clause on his contract because we know he's a great player, but we're still not giving him a chance. That's an awful deal. That's an awful deal to let him go. I, no one can convince me that they're happy about that. Last one I want to talk about is Ian Matson, a player that we basically we, we got an academy player and twenty something million for Ian Matson. Ian Matson was playing in the Champions League final and was one of the most pivotal players for Dortmund. You can't convince me it was a good deal. Now I don't want this channel to be all negative, me yelling for clicks or views. I'm not trying to do all that. And I'm really trying to support these players. I think Mark Gway, he could be something special. William Esteval will be a phenomenal player, I just said. Right? I think that Dewsbury Hall is not even a bad player. But we got to start talking about the board. They don't know what they're doing. These deals make zero sense. And that is the ugly truth of everything today. Is that none of these deals, except for one or two, are good deals. These are all bad deals. And they are making bad decisions. And we got to hope that these players turn into stars and hope our players can do something next season. But let me know down below. Am I being too pessimistic? Am I being too bad at like just cynical about these deals or are these just bad deals, but good players? Let me know down below, hit that like button. Like I said, subscribe if you're not already, I'd appreciate it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Come on, Chelsea.